This is Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, and on this very uh, cloudy Queen's Jubilee Friday bank holiday day, we're doing a walk around video on this rather sunny and lovely Benamar Mileo 286. So Benamar are a Spanish company, they're part of the Tregano group, they're sold new exclusively through Marquis in this country. They're very highly cab spec, very highly conversion spec. Um, Continental vans, but anglicised with a British twist. So good kitchens, good lounges, but with the continental features of good beds and good storage. The 286 is an absolute bestseller. It's a 6.99 metre long van with a very large drop down transverse double bed over a big lounge, a great kitchen, a good rear garage for bikes, and an all round good egg. And this one is a really, really good one. It's one we've sold before, we've known it all of its life or most of its life and it's barely done any miles. So have a look at the window sheet. It's a Benamar Mileo 286, 2016 on a 16 plate. Four berth, four seat belts. Better for two with occasional guests, to be honest. Uh, Fiat Ducato 2.3, 150 horsepower. This one, not a 130, it's got the bigger engine. Turbo diesel, only done five and a half thousand miles from new. 6.99 meters long, so it's in the cheaper ferry bracket. 2.35 wide, standard width for a coach built van these days. 2.89 high, because it's got the drop down bed, and it's priced at 48.95, which in this crazy world we live in is a good price for one of these, and it's available and it's got a great layout. So good looking van based on the Fiat Ducato with the white colour code in. Uh, so say 150 horsepower engine, the standard was 130, so these got the upgrade one. They also got all sorts of other cab bells and whistles like uh, auto headlights, cab blinds. We'll go through that a bit more when we look inside the cab anyway. Condition wise, pretty much perfect this one. This one's story, first gentleman. Um, needed to change it for a smaller automatic van, met me at the NEC show, did a deal with me on an Adria Twin and said he'd do the deal as long as I delivered it, then he told me he was in Cumbria, so I went all the way up to uh, Cumbria uh, to do the handover of his new van and then drove this all the way back, so I've done about 400 of those miles, so 10% of the mileage in this van has been done by me, which is all good and it drives really, really well. So walking around the outside, we've got electric heated wing mirrors, it's got a Sigma Thatcham Category 1 alarm system with a sticker there. We've got Truma gas and electric blown air heating and hot water, digitally controlled, the most popular heating system on the market. Main hook up in there, leisure battery, and on the roof, uh, you can't see it, but it's got a good sized solar panel up there as well. This one, only thing it's missing, doesn't have a wind out canopy. We could fit you one if you wanted one. Price would be about 850 quid for a three and a half meter one. We've got a fly screen door on the habitation door, which is on this side. No need for an electric step because it's got a step built in, which is better because it won't break. You've also got an external gas barbecue point here as well, which is really stiff, but underneath of there you've got an external gas barbecue point, and you've also got an external shower point as well for hosing yourself or your dogs or your cats or your parrots off. At the back, so there's no fixed bed in this, it's got a very large drop down front bed, but they've managed to fit a garage into the back where you'll fit two bikes. I know that because I've actually fitted two of my bikes in here when I needed to store them for a little while. So in the back there, good sized garage. So your freestanding habitation table lives in here. You've also got access to here from inside the van. Uh, it's got a spare wheel added there because that wasn't standard on this model and a second access door across the back there. You've also got your front downstairs um, double bed infill cushion and some loose fit carpets. This area is heated, it's also lit up and it's got a mains plug and a 12 volt plug. So if you're sat outside under your awning, hooked up to the mains, you want to run some electrical things, you can plug them in in your garage, which is a useful feature. And that's all plastic. One of my favorite things about Benamars is uh, the fact that they're mainly built out of plastic. So in all the years that I've been selling motorhomes, Benamars came back into this country in 2016. I'm yet to have a damp one. And I think that's probably the only manufacturer, regardless of any price, that I've never found a damp one of. I know they can be damp, I've heard of them, but I've never had one, which is exceptionally good. I've had more damp Heimers than I've had damp Benamars, so fair play to your Benamar for doing that. At the back, we've got a high-level reversing camera, and the, the monitor for that is your sat-nav in the cab, and it's pre-fitted for a bike rack, so if you want it to keep your garage free for other bigger stuff, you can put bikes on the back, which is something I've done with my own van, actually. I just find it easier, uh, but we're a family of four, so putting four bikes in and out of the garage was a pain, so we've put three on a rack one in the back and that gives us more garage space on the inside. Condition wise, perfect, no marks. Well, it might be the very lightest little scuff there, that'll probably polish out. That's your second garage door, 
thick, thick, thick set toilet emptying point and your bathroom window, double glazed, uh, flush fit windows all the way around as well, which is a nice thing to see. Digital TV area, TV aerial on the roof, and then the um, vents for your incredibly big, and it is huge, fridge freezer. That's a three-way one, runs off mains electric if you're hooked up, gas if you're not, and 12 volt from the engine when you're driving. So you've got an onboard fresh water tank which is inside the van so it won't freeze up filled up through there that'll be about 100 litres and then a gas locker in there where you'll fit a couple of six kilo gas bottles and again condition i can't see anything on it at all looking at the cab spec so opening up the cab door we've got remis concertina blinds on the front and side windows we've got air conditioning cruise control steering wheel controls for your Fit, factory fitted uh, Bluetooth DAB stereo system with hands-free phone calling. You can hook up your phone via Bluetooth or you can attach it via the auxiliary inputs which are down there. That's also got TomTom Tom European sat-nav on it and a CD player as well which is something you don't see anymore. Um, auto headlights, you've got that Sigma alarm system with a key code pad there if you need to code in any extra fobs or turn it off and your fobs have all disappeared. Uh, twin Twibbly cab seats, nice sort of suede velory upholstery as well, no plastic which is good and yeah, all lovely on the outside. It's all lovely on the inside as well this one in furniture, so let's, uh, let's wander inside. So we've actually sold this van and the gentleman had to pull out unfortunately at the last minute so it is basically fully prepped and ready to go bar a valet so currently we're working on about a six week wait from point of purchase to collection we're so busy but this one you could have pretty much straight away you just needs a quick valet but it is mint in fairness to it. it's in lovely condition. Um, so anyway you come in to a big front lounge and then to the rear of the van you've got a really big kitchen, a really good bathroom and a really big storage locker so we'll look at the lounge first anyway. So as you come in the van, you've got a CBE control panel, which you'll see in loads of motorhomes. Very simple to use, buttons instead of touch screens, which is great. That's just got simple dials for your fresh and waste water tank, leisure battery, engine battery. Over your big front lounge there is a very big transverse double bed. So you press a button and this will come all the way down electronically and it'll end up sitting just above here, basically. So you just take your backrest off if you want it to come down all the way. Uh, I think it's just that backrest, maybe the other one. Take them off, chuck them in the cab, chuck them on the floor. Uh, leave your bedding on there if you wish. Bring it all the way down. If you've got guests, you can bring it halfway down. Then it comes with a ladder that clips on there for you to uh, to climb up into bed. And it will make a double bed downstairs. Which is probably not ideal for everyday use. But for occasional use with someone else, it would be great. And this is a really nice, big, comfortable lounge. Uh, if we're being picky, these have got quite firm cushioning. Not the end of the world, but uh, they are a bit firmer than some really big side windows opening side window there so you can travel with that open because it's a side facing one so if you do have any rear passengers they get a bit of uh, airflow nice level of plug sockets you've got a main socket and a 12 volt socket to run off your leisure battery there for charging your phones and things you've also got a usb socket up there and a beautiful big opening panoramic skylight where you can look at your devon sky up there Looking back down the van, we've got a clever height adjustable TV brackets. You can put a TV on there, raise it and lower it depending on the position of your bed. And two seat belted travelling seats, simply remove this panel here for leg room. Or if it's like our one, one of our kids uh, travels with their feet up there. Very comfortable way of getting around. Practical light coloured vinyl flooring. That's the control panel for your Truma, digitally controlled gas and electric heating and blown air. Uh, blown air heating and water heater really good kitchen this is one of the things they do when they anglicize these vans so they make it uk friendly and um, they put in a really good kitchen so you've got a proper decent size oven and grill that looks like it's barely been used and a two burner gas hob with one mains electric good sink with a uh, clip on draining board there that'll just go on the side that's a nice deep sink draining board there and then a decent bit of uh do you ever wish you hadn't done anything? <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> and a decent bit of workspace there. And a microwave that is at a decent height as well, which is great. Not that I know how to get into it. 12 volt socket there. There'll be a main socket around as well for this kitchen. Nice high gloss cabinet work with soft clothes. And loads and loads of drawers. Big, deep drawers for all your kitchen paraphernalia and your food. Another one there and there. And there, it's a really good kitchen, four high level cupboards up above. And then we've got another large opening skylight here. 
nice LED lighting all the way around. It's got the solar panel on the roof. There's also a two-way fan which will suck in air to give you a bit of air movement with a skylight above or it will suck out air uh, to give you a bit of extraction from your kitchen. But you've got another massive side window there. Across from here we've got a storage cupboard built into this little step in front of the fridge. Then we've got this massive slimline fridge freezer. So in there you've got a big freezer, loads and loads of fridge space. And underneath we've got a slide out, extra bit of fridge space at the bottom as well, which is really smart. Little storage cupboard above it for some extra stuff with your TV aerial booster point in there. A mirror to do your hair once you're ready to go out to your discotheques. And then the bathroom is a really good bathroom as well. So you've got a proper good size separate shower space here with a hanging rail in it and a light. A nice modern sink unit, that cassette toilet like everything has, and then loads of storage as well. So we've got an under basin storage. We've got a high level storage there as well. We've got another mirror with lots of little cubby holes down the side of it. We've even got access in here to your wardrobe space as well. I mean, look at this. That's absolutely massive in there. You can get into that from the side as well. But that's a huge bit of, bit of storage space in there for your clothes and other equipment. Then outside of that, you've got access to even more. Look at that massive wardrobe here as well. I mean, blimey, it's a fantastic space, that. Cleverly, to help you access that space, you've got pull-down steps here, so you can pull down your steps, stand on them, and you can get all the way around the corner into your storage area. Very well thought out. The other thing you can do if you want to access your garage, is access your garage, which is great. If you've got a doggy and you want to keep your doggy in your garage, not that everybody would do, but if you do, then the doggy can go away in there. Final one, which is, I just love that, look at that. Huge storage for food, cereals, tins, everything like that. Really, really good. So it's a proper good package, this. It's barely done any miles. It's a Benamar Melio 286 2016. It's fully prepped and ready to go. And it's in stock now at Highbridge Caravans, Devon Branch, priced at 48.95. So if you want to contact us, if you look at the details on my card there, you've got the landline number 01626 832 792, the website highbridgecaravans.co.uk, and we are the Devon Branch of Highbridge, just off the A38 South Devon Expressway at Newton Abbott, which is uh, between Exeter and Plymouth on the busiest road in South Devon. We've got airports near here, we've got railway stations, we're very easy to get to. This van's got a full MOT, it's just been habitation served, it's just had a full engine service, we'll give you a 12 month warranty and a full valet. Um, I don't think you can get wrong with this, I really like it. So Benamar Milio 286 48995, 5,500 miles at Highbridge Motorhomes Devon. Thank you very much, bye bye.